welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off with my prompt jar today and the prompt I picked out was what are you most grateful for? So this is just a little jar of random uh, prompt starting points that uh, occasionally I use. I use them in class quite a bit um, just to get us going and I'm working in my fabric bound journal today. Just starting with a layer of gesso down. So I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry I missed um, adding up a video last week but I was full of cold so I was just resting up. So grabbing my stabilo all which just needed sharpening up a bit. I'm starting off with some spill writing so I'm just randomly um, writing down what came to mind uh, with the prompt that I pulled out. So I'm not really thinking about it too much. I'm just letting the words come. Um, they're just scribbly, scrawly words in the background and that's where they'll stay. They'll just be in the background. But it, start, it helps to get the page started. It breaks up that blankness um, and it's just a great, great starting point. And I'm writing about how grateful I am for my family, my children, the people around me. Now the reason I used my stabilo wall, you could just use a pen or a pencil, um, but I, the reason I wanted to use this is that it will react with water. Um, and as you see there, I've got my water spray and I'm just spraying it here and there, which He's just blowing those words and just adds interest. Grabbing my matte medium now and slapping down some collage. Oh, I'm starting off with, um, this is a bit of cheesecloth, which I thought I'd add for some uh, interest and some texture in the background. I love cheesecloths quite I often forget that I well that I've got it but it's great to, it's great for using in the background just to add yourself um, sort of a little grid sort of texture which um, works really well with the paints over the top <clears throat> and grabbing my collage box and pulling out little bits and bobs to add over the top now whilst I'm working away, um, I should let you know that um, new dates for my live art journaling sessions are now available. I'll put a link in the description of where you can find all the details. It's going to be a, a five week course starting in November where you can join me live for some art journaling. Every week we'll be doing something different. Each session's an hour and a half. Um, it's very informal. We'll just come along and have a chat. Um, it's run on Zoom, and um, yeah, they're uh, they're really good fun, and I love doing them. I, I love actually getting to meet you guys. So if you fancy it, all like I say, all the details will I'll put in the description down below. If you're unable to um, make the time zone. Unfortunately, these ones aren't recorded, but I do have a pre-recorded online course now available um, and I'll pop that, I'll pop information for that one down below and that's one that you can just, you know, go at your own pace. So I'm adding some gesso over the top, um, speci especially over the top of the cheesecloth just to help it sort of stick down. And it really highlights the texture um, that it creates. I have lots of different scraps that I added there. Bits of old book page, old coffee dyed paper, napkins, all sorts of things. Now on to some colour. I'm just grabbing my watercolour set. And because this is about what I'm grateful for, I'm trying to choose colours which are sort of happy, 
I was kind of thinking of making the page look almost treasure-like, like jewel colours, perhaps. So I'm starting off with this pink and then I'm going in with this gold, which is quite subtle, but it's nice. And then a brighter pink here. Sorry, the jingling back in the background is my cat. <laughs> and a bit of yellow here over the top. Um, then I grabbed my coffee, which is dried out, so I'm just adding some water into that. And just really slapping this down very randomly. So I wanted to create that sort of really, um, to crack the sort of splats and splashes and then just do its own thing. Oh, I'm just trying to make the camera focus there. <clears throat> and then I'm grabbing some gold acrylic and just with using with my finger, uh, rubbing that in, picking up the texture. Just here and there in places. You, <clears throat> I like that you can still see some of those words that we started with in the background there at the top. This is just an old broken necklace, well several broken necklaces and I just keep the bits and bobs and I pulled out this metal piece which I fancied using and then this photograph is of um, my husband and my two daughters when we were off <clears throat> on a walk but I don't often use new photographs and I find them um, it's quite shiny uh, so I'm just trying to dull it down just by putting a little bit of coffee over the top just to try and make it slightly less shiny I'm trying to sort of audition as to where I want it on the page still thinking it feels a bit new looking so I'm just going over the edges with some scissors just to rough it up a bit And then I'm going to dip those edge edges into there. Sorry, my throat's still a little bit croaky from my cold the other day. <coughs> there we go. Um, this little bit of fabric I pulled out, which I like. I liked the sort of roses on there. And I'm just trying to make myself a little bundle of stuff, which I think will work. I think I decided to put it there at the bottom. I liked all the loose threads, so I'd leave them in. Just using a bit of uh, craft glue to stick all this down. And then I decide to actually stitch this little piece of metal down. This is just crochet thread, so it's quite strong stuff. So I, um, I challenge you to have a go using the prompt, um, the thing you are most grateful for. See uh, if you guys can um, make your own page using the prompt. I'd, I'd love to see uh, what you manage to create with that in mind. I think my needle I was having there quite a lot of difficulties trying to find <laughs> the little gaps within the metal I kept getting stuck like there uh, but I make it in the end and uh, I decide to also throw in a few stitches 
it on the photograph itself as well. Uh, it One, because I thought it would uh, add to it, but also it was just to help it stick down as well. It wasn't quite sticking with the craft glue. Just adding in some little crosses. There we go, and tighten that off. Right, so I think I then um, find some words to add. And the words I found were the best things in life are free. And what did I do next? I can't remember. I... Oh, I grabbed a button thinking I was going to add a button as well. Um, but having had a look at it, I decided no, I didn't like that. <clears throat> I grab a pencil just to add a few more just little scribbly marks here and there in the background and that is it so i hope you've enjoyed that um let me know if you do decide to have a go at the prompt um and i'd love to see what you manage what you make see you soon bye Thank you.